Taking a look at your top story, mystery deepens around the murder of ESCOM employee Tembasile Yende. A man allegedly connected to the case has also died. This man, whose car was reportedly used by the prime suspect, David Nguenya, to commit the murder, has died. It was due to questions by the police. According to the police, he died of natural causes. 29-year-old Tembasile Yende was found in her office after two weeks of being reported missing. Two days after her body was discovered, her family held a picket outside ESCOM offices demanding answers about her untimely death. In and seven reporter Kani Mapanga joins us from the newsroom. A very good morning to you, Candy. Uh, Kani, rather, what updates can you give us as to the story? Good morning to you, Stefani, and the viewers at home. Um, you're right, uh, mystery continues to deepen in the Tembisi Leyende case, where now the alleged suspect, the 43-year-old David Nguena's best friend or friend that um, um, owned the car that he uh, was traced in, has now mysteriously died. The police have confirmed that he died of natural causes. Um, now, the family is saying that... Um, David Nguyen made uh, an appearance on Monday at the Springs Magistrates Court, which was news to uh, the public as well as the media. The family is saying that they did not get a chance to go to um, that court case and they didn't even know that the police had a suspect. Now, the police have confirmed, uh, despite reports saying that uh, David Nguyen is the man that died, uh, that is false, and that David Nguyen will be appearing at the Springs Magistrates Court on Friday. Um, uh, for the alleged murder of Tembisile Yende. Um, we're not sure as to why this uh, s suspect was uh, reportedly killed or, or died of natural causes, but it is uh, being said that he was due to have an interview or with the police uh, in, in the coming weeks uh, with regards to this case or, or something else. We're not sure, but we think that it had to do with the case that uh, uh, Tembisile Yende had died. The police are saying that they're keeping this out of the, the media for now because the information is very, very sensitive, and they're still currently investigating what happened that day that Tembisi Yende went missing. And there are also reports, which were confirmed by her family spokesperson, Boneni Yende, who's also her brother, that uh, Tembisi Yende was allegedly a whistleblower. So it is possible that the, sus uh, the suspect's friend uh, that has reportedly been killed uh, could have had some information to assist in this regard. Much to Kani Mapanga, our reporter joining us there from the newsroom and just giving us an update as to the mystery surrounding Tembasi Leyende's murder that happened at ESCOM that we knew her body was found after two weeks of being missing.